Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Man Eater from writer-director Justin Lee, who I've seen his final kill film, and this is yet another shark horror thriller. Because why do we need any more of these? And right off the bat, the shark in this is horrible CGI, so unbelievable, and every scene that it attacks looks like a joke. And I could not take any of that seriously, so come out hot on this one. It's just, you know, I can't stand seeing any more of these movies because so many of them are made for so cheap and so unbelievable. Learn from Steven Spielberg. Take all the wrong lessons from Jaws. This one definitely didn't take, like, any of the lessons from Jaws. So, right off the bat, the, to move to point, the shark's not scary and it's really terrible looking. There's also moments where the film really glorifies the violence and the blood and has these lingering shots on this one particular character who's mauled and it's just like, come on, this is excessive, it's just not, it doesn't feel right. The film is a mashup of basically two different movies together trying to coexist together that finally like come together in like the last 20 minutes. You have... This young woman who gets killed by the shark and her dad, Trace Atkins, who's definitely by far the most believable actor in this film, goes out. He's going to hunt this shark because the police won't do anything. I know like a decent amount of his dialogue is trash, but like Tra Trace Atkins does a really decent job with this and basically spirals into becoming Quint from Jaws. And I have to say, I almost took off a whole letter grade at the end and gave us half a star on letterbox because how atrocious and just tone deaf and stupid this little tease for a sequel is at the end of the film centered around Trace Atkins. But then like you feel for Trace Atkins story because you feel for him trying to avenge his daughter. But then you spend all this time with all these young people on like a fake honeymoon or was going to be a honeymoon and you know none of these actors are really that interesting and you know they all start at a certain point they all start getting murked out of nowhere by the shark you have the likes of Shane West and Jeff Fahey and like I said Trace Atkins Nikki Whalen they're the ones in this film and it's not like the strongest of cast but I do feel like Fahey and Atkins at least not the best dialogue to work with but at least could sell their roles well a lot of these younger actors in the a lot of this film, there's like a whole half hour where I feel like Trace Atkins disappears. And they're just not strong enough to really deliver the emotion or the drama. It's just a lot of screaming and shrieking and, you know, Jaws coming out of nowhere, made out of CGI and ripping people to shreds in a really fake looking way. And in the end, I do think this is just yet another wasted kind of film on a concept that needs to be dead and buried. Please stop making shark horror movies. But those are my thoughts on Man Eater. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.